Hello guys, let's try and understand this problem in HackerRank called Can You Access? So we have to basically get the access to the inner classes, some private method that is there in the inner class. So let us discuss about it. So the difficulty level is medium. Why I'll tell it to you after? But actually this problem is really easy. But the difficulty level is medium actually because there is this locked code and I cannot change the statements that I can change so that the problem will be easier for me. So I can't change that. I can just change write your code here. That's what I can do. Otherwise I cannot do anything else. So see the thing is. Uh, so let us first of all discuss what they have given us. The locked code whatever it is. So there is a public class solution. There is the main method. They are just taking in the number that we have. And we have to check if that number is a power of 2 or not. Then they are you know they are just using the object class to form any object. And they haven't allocated anything to it. So we have to allocate O to something. Some memory okay. We will do that in this step. But let us jump forward. So an instance of the class O dot get class will give the type of class. So basically O is the object of which class that will will get that. And everything will, will get that. Then the catch statement. Then they have defined an exception which actually they have defined it over here do not terminate and all. We don't have to worry about this type this code uh, as of now. As of now actually for this problem we don't have to worry about it. And the thing is they have created a class called inner. Inside this inner they have this private method sorry private class actually. And inside this private class they have this private method again. So basically we have to get access to a private method inside a private class which and outside of it there is a, a static class so basically that's why the name of the problem is can you get access to this method power of 2 and they have basically done everything for us and they have printed out a power of 2 so basically we'll have to print out number whatever the number is i think it is where it is uh, yeah so number then is power of 2 or not that's what we're going to do and this thing the statement over they have did it for us which is in the lock part of the code here so we don't have to worry about it we just have to change this thing okay so so the thing is they have defined the object for us so i'll not erase this thing so that i'll get remember i'll remind you know i'll just that's just for remembering that we cannot change anything else we can just change this part of the code so otherwise everything is locked so we can just write o equals to so see the thing is that we have to get access to this public class inner first so static class actually so first of all you use the new keyword if i'm not wrong so you use the new keyword new inner now you have formed basically i've called the constructor of this class but the thing is inside this inner class there is a private class called private so to get access to something inside the class what do you use you use the object and then you write dot so if you see this is nothing that but the object of the class you write dot and then you create a new constructor of that class called private okay but still it is showing me some red lines because now see whenever you are trying to form a new basically object you have to write the new keyword as you use over here so over here also you will write a new keyword and then you will write private okay now i think there is no error for me so that's how I just allocated the object O to the new classes, basically inner classes, private class, whatever it is there. This is the object O now. Now we have to get access to this method now. Uh, okay, still there are some errors over here. So let us try to solve that. So first of all, we have to simply print out the number, whatever it is, plus we have to print out whether it is or not, right? So is, and see, remember there is a space before and after is, then again. After that, uh, it will print out power of 2 or not a power of 2. So they have did us for, uh, did automatically, did, uh, it basically it will be happening automatically. We don't have to worry about it. So number is, and now we have to get access to this method power of 2. So if I am not wrong, the O is of type object. But the thing is, if it were of type this uh, inner and private, then it would have been easy. So basically you, you could have simply changed this object. Uh, you just erase this and write class, you know, inner and private and basically do it. But you cannot do that because this is locked for us. So now what to do? We have to change the type of O. And if I'm not wrong, to change any type, we use type casting. That is, we use uh, round brackets before that, right? So O, before this O, I'm going to use round brackets and I'm going to write what type of this thing do I want. So first of all, there is solution. After solution, there is this inner and after inner, there is private, which it already suggested us. This is the type casting now. Basically, I did type casting. And to get access to the method, I'm going to cover this whole thing with a round bracket again after O. And I, if I write dot, I'm going to get access to all the methods in it. And if you see, I'm getting access to this power of 2. And the parameter I'm going to, that I'm going to pass is going to be number. So I think it should be working. Now let's just run this code and just try and see what happens. Okay. 
okay now let us see for eight so it is printing out the output correctly exactly as hacker rank wants but see it is giving me some highlight over here it is suggesting me something so change type of o to private and remove casting so basically i did casting over here right so that is i change the type so if i click over here and you can see what happens over here so it changed this to inner private o but i told you you cannot do this thing because over here on hacker rank it is locked for us so basically you cannot change if i am trying to hit backspace so it, it is not changing so basically you can't do that so for that i didn't do that i did this step so basically just copy these two lines of codes and paste it over here and check if it is right or wrong so paste it and let us submit the code we know this sample test case is right Okay, each and every test case has passed. There's no error. So that's all from my side. You can subscribe to my channel to get updates regarding new videos. That's all. See you and keep learning. Thank you.